Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, very short video. I just wanted to talk about, uh, as I now look into the camera, uh, the fact that I'm behind on some Hongdian fountain pen reviews, and those will be coming in the not too distant future. And that'll be the, the next scene of uh, the pens I'll be covering, but that'll include the, uh, the D1 overlay, the N9, ooh, the Mole, which is a uh, cartridge converter, the N10, which is a piston filler, a little round ink window, and the N11. And perhaps by the end of this, I'll know the distance to keep this from the camera. So anyway, uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks. I'm a bit backed up on taking a look at Hongdian pens. Uh, one of the ones is this D1 overlay. And I may do a combined video on this and several other overlay pens from Asfine and from Jin Hao. The most recent one received actually is, for me, is the N9. This is a cartridge converter. And I was a little surprised when I got this. And <laughs> if I can open it now, okay. There was no um, O-ring here, as there normally is with most of the Chinese uh, pen makers these days. So I stuck an O-ring here. It's not an exact size fit. So I don't know if these are sold or produced sans O-rings or not. Uh, the idea of why an O-ring there is, is uh, a good addition is that it uh, cushions the barrel against the section and kind of prevents over-tightening. However, this one I put in it doesn't tighten flush. You can see the O-ring there. I'll leave it. I mean, it will serve its function, but uh, I'm curious as to whether other N9s have an O-ring installed or not. And this has the uh, wonderful Haas nib, the bunny rabbit nib. Rabbit and hair being the meaning of my surname, Haas, in German. So that's the N9 we'll be looking at. The N10, Hongdian has really done some amazing pieces, pens designed this year. Um, this is a metal pen. So this seam is, has nothing to do with uh, acrylic. It's a design choice. And that's on both sides. And you can see the little ink, circular ink window there. So I haven't filled this yet because I uh, want to do that in my review. But uh, it'll be interesting to see, depending on the color, how obvious the ink level is through that little window. And this has a black number eight nib. So a large nib like the uh, Jin Hao 9019 or the um, Jin Hao X159. But something really exciting to me is this has a Ebony feed. I was 99% sure it was 
and not an ebony feed, sorry, ebonite feed. 99% of it was an ebonite feed just from its appearance. But then I brought it to my nose, and there was no question. You can smell the ebonite rubber. So that's a wonderful addition that uh, Hongdian has made. And then the N11, which I just also got, along with the N9, in the last day or two. I mean, look at these facets. What, what a wonderful <laughs> idea that they've uh, incorporated in this model. This is, I should say, the uh, N10 is a piston filler. This is a cartridge converter filler. And again, they've gone with the black nib which is attractive to me, but I've had some experience with black coated nibs that they, with time, can flake. Those happen to be Monteverdi nibs, and I'm hoping for a better result with Hongdian nibs. And uh, as I said, this is a cartridge converter. Very comfortable pen, even though, but but still a little slippery in the section. Even though they have these incised rings, they're so shallow; they don't really really provide any purchase or prevention of slippage, which you might experience. Uh, it's flared at the end, so that that's always good with a metal section. Uh, the only other criticism I have, and I think it's just this particular pen, is that it's a bit sharp where it meets the finial here. Not so sharp that you're going to cut yourself, but these facets needed to be smoothed a little bit. I haven't heard anyone else mention that. Um, and I may smooth them myself if it uh, bothers me. But I wanted to mention that as a demerit. I really like, as a merit, the, uh, the chromed accents, but a dark chrome, a dark stainless steel. Very attractive and fits this pen very well. So one of these pens will follow as far as the review that's coming, but I wanted to show you the Hongdian mo models that I will be taking a look at in the near future. Thanks.